Hello and welcome to this video. This is Damo DGC, and once again we're doing a software video. This, as you may may realise by the title, is on Audacity. This software is a free to use, free to download piece of audio editing software, a lot like um, Encore on uh, as a part of the Adobe Suite, a lot like that and works the same way as that program and other audio editing programs um and yep so this is called audacity and the version the current version number that we're using at the moment is audacity 3.0.0 and as i said this is a free to download program i will put the links in the description below and uh yes well i have been using this program for the last few months as a part of my ongoing project with with all fm to pr produce host and edit a um short well an hour long uh broadcast and uh, sorry an hour long show for them to be hosted by them to be able to go out to them and i will put the links in the description below but as you see this is for our um as as of the date of recording as you can see the date down here it's the 8th this is for tomorrow um tomorrow at noon so it's uh april the 9th um 2021 obviously um well obviously not 2020 but nah, i digress anyway um so yeah so this is my final piece of products that i've managed to edit through and uh yeah so i use this program to edit the show to uh to use as an mp3 edit and basically this is what you do you just drag and sorry drag and drop sort of things well hence drag and drop things but as you can see here we've got the regular uh, media functions here so we've got pause play stop um skip to start skip to end and record um and then you've got a selection tool uh in sorry enveloping tool um you've got draw tool which i don't use very often um you've got obviously the zoom tool the time shift tool and the multi tool which is also basically i don't use the i don't really use the multi tool and i don't really use the draw tool because i have no no need for them and uh, this is your timeline so uh, let's zoom out right oh zoom in a bit so as you see that's the whole hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on no oh, it's not the whole thing yeah so as you see there <laughs> it's the whole sort of program um allocated into two tracks i don't know why i've got the third track open i have no idea uh, i don't think i've got anything on that third track so we'll close that i've already saved this anyway so it doesn't really matter if i change anything and this has already been saved been sent out been um hopefully as i said going to be broadcasted tomorrow and these recordings go on to the mixcloud account what we've got to set up which i'll put the links in the description down below and i basically just use this on my current system and it's fairly easy to do um it's fairly easy to pick up and let's just have a look at the options so you've got the file options you've got regular file you've got in export import new open recent files those are all my recent files uh close obviously um page setup 
which I'm not actually sure what that actually does. Oh, that's just so you can print it all out. I don't know why you would want to do that. Print, um, obviously, uh, and exit. Then you got edit. You got undo, remove, undo, redo, cut, paste. Sorry, cut, delete, copy, paste, duplicate. Special, um, special move special so remove split cut split delete select it sorry silence audio trim audio um clip boundaries split new split so split new join detach at silence you got loads of it you've got labels uh label audios meta tools Met, sorry, metadata, which will list the meta things. So that's the track that I'm using. I cannot, of course, play this through this recorded. So you won't be able to listen to how it sounds due to the agreement that I've got with the show and due to, hence, YouTube things. And this has got a lot of, lot of interviews that have especially been done for that show so i'm not I'm, I'm not gonna basically just play selections of the audio on there um but it, it, it's it's you can add tracks you can delete tracks you can add audio tracks as long as it's all mp3 which what we basically run on mp3 because it's a compressed format but i'm pretty sure it can do more formats than mp3 but basically that's what I use, uh, that's what I work on. So you've got select all, you've got select options, view options, transport, transport, tracks, generate, effects. Now all these effects you can use, you can use the fade-ins, fade-outs, that's what I base, uh, sometimes you use fade-ins, fade-outs, or I just, just use the, um, uh enveloping tool which you can manually do the fade ins and fade outs uh normalizer which i usually use amplify which i can sometimes use especially on audio that is so silent that you can hardly hear so i can up you know um and usually when I'm like that off the mic or like that off the mic so you can see because the mic is just directly in front of me you won't be able to see this on 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 the on the thing but it's directly in front of me within probably five centimeters away from where i'm talking i've got a um a filter sorry a diffuser or fitted by the mic and a static filter um uh, surrounding the mic and i've also got one of these mic arms so it's it's just you know so i've got all the necessary recording sort of things that you can use to to basically just um record audio um and i've got the, the compressor tool is also what i use and obviously as i said the normalizer that i use um mainly most of these filters that i don't use are most of the things that i don't use but there's also plugins that you can download and you can plug in to it um i will link that in the description below the plugin stuff that you can do uh analyze so you can analyze the contrast the pitch spectrum uh find clip find fine clipping which is also good which is something that i need to actually do on live recordings i don't really do that but i will try and do that for future reference beat finder um sound label sounds silence finder and sound finder uh you've got the tools you've got the macros ply macros run bench sorry 
run benchmark, um, screenshots, restart calibrations, sorry, restart configurations, calibrations, configurations, and then you've also got the help, quick help, manuals, diagnosis, uh, update, uh, check updates, and about tools. And then you've got these, um, you've also got got this um, mic set up here. So I'm obviously using the Snowball mic. I've got uh, it linked up to my uh, speaker, sorry, my speaker system, which I'm using onboard Realtek sound on here. Um, selected to mono, you can select to stereo. It doesn't really give that um much bit of difference i don't think but people mostly uh it depends on people's taste but i don't i don't re really see much point in it um but these are just the blanket settings that i've got for it so if we just do a new so i'm going to go into a new a new window here and we'll start a recording um so we'll start a recording now so basically now you can see what the recordings are like uh what my tempo is if it's coming through right is it nope right so we'll stop the recording right and then we'll go right back to here and then we'll play now so basically now you can see what the recordings are like uh what my tempo is if it's coming through right is it nope right so that's just a basic um a basic demo of what it's like so now what i do is if i wanted to cut down the silence i'd just say right so i'll click that right so we've got that bit so now you'll hear a bit of a difference so if we go to right from the start and then play it again now so basically now you can see what the recordings are like uh what my tempo is if it's coming through right is it nope right so we'll stop now right so as you see there you can also press the space bar as you see uh, as i may have done then so we'll just we'll just put the uh get rid of some of the gaps excuse me hiccups so let me just do this quick do 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 quick edit i usually take more time on the actual edits but this isn't really that important uh so yeah so now we'll we'll try it again now so basically now you can see what the recordings are like uh what my tempo is if it's coming through right is it no nope. right so we'll stop now so yeah so as you can see that's cut it down to what what was it about 15 16 seconds as it was before to 13 seconds which is helpful if you've got a timeline if you've got a strict time to do it we've only got about an hour on the program so i'm like forever i take more time in actually going through the 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 um the actual things the, the actual recordings than actually making the recordings themselves because it's just the way that i do it it's it's a bit anal i you know i've tried to push back a little bit i mean you can do you you can actually over record you could sorry you could over edit stuff 
where you listen back to the recording and you can think, no, that doesn't make any sense. No, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. And you can chop a bit too much off. But if you do, you could also go back by pressing Control and Z, as you see there. Or if, you know, so, or you can go to Edit and press Control, press Undo. So that's, that's done that back there. Um, and also what we can do is we'll highlight it or we should have gone to select and um select and select all oh excuse me <coughs> down the wrong call <coughs> right sorry about that i'm a bit dying here right well um Right, what was it? Oh, yeah. I'm trying to think what I was going to do then. Right, so we're going to edit. We can go into amplify. We can... We can hire the amplification. And that's now at 10 decibels. And that's now 1.9601 decibels over where it was set before so we can preview it now so basically now you can see what the recordings are like uh what... right so if you're happy with that that's a bit loud i mean it was a bit loud on the ear earphone so that might be a bit too loud oops sorry i'm listening to steps at the moment that's a bit embarrassing uh, so, <laughs> right, yeah, so if you didn't realise I was listening to Steps before, uh, um, <laughs> yeah, um, anyway, um, a bit of a guilty pleasure there, uh, right, well, it could have been worse, um, yeah, we're, we're not going to go there, uh, this is supposed to be a family friendly, uh, well, yeah, a family friendly video, so we're not, we're, we're not really going to go there um right so anyway i can click okay i'm forgetting where i'm at at the moment so as you see uh sorry our waveform this is our waveform has changed has bubbled out and what i usually do is if it looks a bit loud it usually is so what i can do then is i can I can envelop it a little bit, so I can basically silence it a little bit, but it still keeps the same sort of tempo, the same, and now we'll play it again. Now, so basically now you can see what the recordings are like, uh, what my tempo is, if it's coming through right, is it? Nope. Right, so we'll stop. Right, and you keep an eye on that level there, which that's your active mon monitoring. So you've got... Oh, right. So I've, I didn't have the actual mic monitoring before as you see then i clicked on that for some reason i don't usually have the mic monitoring i should have the mic monitoring but yeah we're still learning here um but as you see you've got your you've got your um what do you call it the speaker monitor there and you try and not have it too far in the red so if you if you so as you see there, it's going around about 12, uh, around about, yeah, around about 12, 24, um, yeah, so that's, that's your peak level, you don't want it, you don't want it to hit there too much, because that's way too loud, and it'll just kill the audio, you'll have mad, you'll have quite a lot of clipping, as you may um so uh yes so you, you you basically get the gist of it this is just a quick run through of what i do 
Um, you've also got the the project rate, so that's the default project rate, and you can change it. But I basically just leave it to forty four. Uh, sorry, forty four thousand one hundred. Um, which is usually quite good. Uh, you can have snapping on nearest or prior um and what else yeah and you've got your mic levels so you can have your mic levels up here or you can have them down here like that um and you can have your audio playback levels here or you can have them like that but you can also change them via individual recording so you can control the grain level which is the quality of it or the grain factor um which obviously more graininess more distorted things that you can do with it so you can higher that up a little bit uh, well, it's basically on the loudness, sorry, um, I need to clarify that, it's on the loudness of the recordings, um, which if I have particularly quiet track on one of these things, if I'm like whispering and doing things like that and, you know, whispering and everything, so I'll just do it now, just so I can show you. Now, so basically now you can see, oh, that's, right, I didn't want to do that then, right, so, right, so if we have, we'll, we'll record it, so if we have a, a slow, um, like quiet sort of recording, you can see that it's not very loud it's not very it's very distant and you can go like that and you can do this and you can you're not really seeing any 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 rises so let's just see so if we have a, a slow um like quiet sort of recording you can see that it's not very loud it's not very it's very distant and you can go like that and you can do this and you can you're not really seeing any 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 rises oh that makes me that, that's a nice little soothing sort of recording there yeah makes you feel like you're going to sleep makes me feel like i'm going to slow sleep but yeah anyway you, you, you can get the gist of it so that you can actually, um, where's the mouse there it is, <laughs> I lost that, it's having two monitor setups, you lose the mouse, endless, so I can up this, let's up it to 11, so let's go back to this, so if we have a, a slow, um, like quiet sort of recording, you can see that it's not very loud, it's not very, it's very distant and you can go like that and you can see, you know, you can hear the change of it and that will transform into your, um, it will sort of translate into your, uh, final final um record uh your final your final export file so in order to do an export file while while we're here while i've got this running you just go to export and you export it as an mp you can export it as an mp3 wave ogg um selective sorry ex export audio 
export selective audio labels multiples or midi so i just basically just um export it as an mp3 uh so we'll export it as an mp3 just to make it simple so now you see i'll put it on my desktop so you can so i'll do that test nice caps uh, i forgot i had the cap locks sorry the caps lock on and you can change the quality rate so you can have it on insane which is 320 kilodecibels sorry kps um 220 to 226 170 to 210 or 145 to 185 i just stick it on standard and variable speed fast or standard joint stereo right Right, hang on. Oh, right. That's why. Edit selected files. Right. So let's do that one again. Let's not have the caps lock on this time. Right. Now it's done it, it's because I was selecting one mono file, it didn't recognise it, didn't want to put it into a stereo file. So now what you can do is, as you saw before in our in my previous, uh, in, in, in the previous window, there was a load of information on there. If you have that, what, um, you can either clear it, create new previous stuff, or just um put your information on it you add it whatever you want so and then uh and then you can do okay and it should save the file if it has saved the file yes it has so here you are here's the file now so basically now you can see what the recordings are like uh what my tempo is if it's coming through right is it nope right so we'll stop so so you see if we have a, a slow uh yeah so you see the way that you can actually create a file so yeah so that's a bit of a bit of a run through this program so i hope you um i hope you uh like this video i hope you enjoyed having a look at audacity as i said this is a free to to download free to use program that is brilliant for novices i mean i'm pretty much novice at this and i've got the hang of it um or it's for industry specialists it offers a lot of functionality for for not a big huge price there is a bit of um of bad features like if you're doing multiple if you're you've got multiple tracks it will do it as individual tracks as you saw there when we wanted to create a new audio track it did it as a different track and if you're importing anything it will do it as one separate track so what i tend to do is as you see here i just put it all into two two maybe three tracks i try and keep it minimum of three tracks so i can so even on my big screen that i've got here it's easier to it, it's very easy to to look at very easy to edit you can you're not really um 
you're not really you losing your losing your pace at your work but everyone's different i do it this way some people may may find it a lot simpler to do different ways but this is a very easy program to uh, to pick up and to start learning how to do audio recordings and a lot of a lot of youtubers use this a lot of big youtubers use this as as basically they they do the they do the uh the, the video then they use this to use as a a inserted audio track so that's the way that they do it so it's it's it is an incredibly very functional very um extremely uh valuable piece of software i was trying to think of the word then but yeah um anyway thank you for watching i hope you really enjoyed this i hope you uh i, I hope you uh i hope you you have a look at this program the links will be in the description below plus all the relevant links are always in the description below i will put the uh my current system on there my current system specs so you can check it but this will run on this on the smallest simplest laptop as long as it can as long as it can run this program you'll have no problems it will run up on a potato basically you don't have to have a high powered um uh a high powered um laptop or desktop uh but you know obviously if that's what you've got then go with that um but if if you've just got a little laptop i mean i've got an uh, as you saw the last the last uh the last episode before i've used this on that uh, that hp laptop and it works a treat on that laptop um but yeah anyway but thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope you look at this program and i hope to see you next time on another video but for now thank you for watching bye for now bye bye